All right, so I'm headed along the creek again today. I think it's the same creek. I'm not 100% sure. It's been pretty cold the last few days. It's actually snowed quite a bit here. It's usually not supposed to snow in Shanghai, but it's been snowing. So I want to find some stuff to do indoors. I found some stuff that might be interesting. And so I'm just on my way to find it now. <laughs> All right, so I've come to Chanfeng Park, which has, actually has an aquarium. And I'm not going to check out the aquarium today, but I'm on my way to check out something that I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I was saying earlier before it was kind of uh, cold out, but actually uh, it's warming up. It's not too bad. I might be able to spend some time outside today. <laughs> All right, so one of the things to check out in the park is there's a discard racing. Discard racing is just like go-karts. So uh, there's an indoor place, so let's go check that out. All right, so this place is pretty cool. They even have a bar upstairs, so if you want to uh, drink and drive. But uh, you get eight laps for about $9. They actually time it and give you a printout after. On this day, I had the fastest lap time so far, but I think only about five people had gone so far this day. All right, so I just did the discard racing, and it was really cool. It's a lot of fun. I want to say thank you to Shanghai Jerry. He makes uh, videos on tripfilms.com, and I learned about this place by watching one of his videos. I also want to say sorry to him. Uh, I didn't get back to him and uh, when he was in Shanghai. So I'm sorry, Jerry, I really do want to meet up with you. And next time you're in Shanghai, um, I was really busy this time, so I'm very sorry about that. But uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. It'd be a cool place to come with some friends and do a race, so I uh, definitely check out this discard racing. <laughs> All right, so they also have the pedal boats, or I think it said on the sign, running feet boats. And the Korean actually just says duck boat, ori bay. But uh, actually, this boat that I rented is an electric boat, and I think that's a little more enjoyable than the pedal boat. So, with over 20 million people now, well, Shanghai is a pretty busy city. So, it's kind of nice that there is some green space. It takes about an hour or so to go around the lake with an electric boat. All right, so we survived going through the ice, so uh, let's go back in for one more run and uh, see how far we can go in. All right, so I still have one last thing left to do today. All right, so I came to play ping pong and I came with a friend, Albert. He's supposedly pretty good, so I'm pretty excited about that because the last time I played, if you watched the video, I played with John and, well, John, I was a little bit disappointed with your ping pong. Also, um, I'm just joking around, but um, John was in a motorcycle accident. He was okay, though, so he's doing better, but I think he kind of broke his motorcycle a bit, but I just wanted to wish him well, so, John, I hope that you're doing all right. And now we're going to see. It's uh, my first time to uh, get a real challenge here in China playing ping pong, so I'll see how I do. So I won the first game, which was pretty good, but then we played two more games and, well, my uh, fortunes weren't quite as good. All right, Albert, yeah. so uh, how was my ping pong today? Yeah, it's good, it's real good. <laughs> And uh, should we quit after the first game? Yeah, of course, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it will be a wise decision. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for the game. Yeah, thanks. 